Okay, this is a pH meter, and there's a certain procedure to using it, and uh, part of that procedure will help ensure the functioning of the meter, and also the other will guarantee that you'll get a good measurement. So first we want to observe that um, when you come up to the pH meter station, the probe is going to be immersed in some kind of holding solution to keep the tip of the probe moist. You know, when you're finished using the pH meter at any time, you want to make sure you immerse it back in the holding solution. So that should be provided at the station. So um, when you're ready to use the probe, first thing you should do is remove the probe from the holding solution and then set it aside so it's very close by. You'll also have a larger waste beaker uh, for holding the rinse solution. So before you put the tip into any other solution for measurement, you want to make sure that you rinse the tip of the probe off. So give it a good rinse. Okay. You're not quite sure overdoing it is better than underdoing it. Make sure the probe is nice and clean uh, with a rinse before you use it for measurement. Now when you're ready to take a measurement, go ahead and take the solution that you're going to take the measurement of and again, not letting the probe stay out too long, go ahead and immediately uh, lower the arm into the solution and then you'll notice that the meter will start to change there will be a little hourglass which will show that it's uh, trying to stabilize and once the hourglass disappears these numbers will not fluctuate much more and you can go ahead and read that as your pH in this case it's reading pH 7.00 and it shows that it's working properly because I'm uh, taking the pH of a buffer of pH 7, so it's working properly. When finished, again, take the solution that you're measuring away, rinse your probe again, make sure it's rinsed really nicely. So once it's rinsed off and clean, then you can put it back into the holding solution.